What's up? It's time for another Dave Campbell's Texas Football Talking Point. His name is EJ Holland. My name is Greg Tepper. We're here to talk about the Frogs. TCU enters 2014 with kind of mixed expectations. On one hand, last year was, I think, an abject disaster. We both agree, uh, agree falling, falling to four and eight. But this offense is going to look... I guess that's the question. What is this offense going to look like? <laughs> well, I think you're going to see a high-powered... Uh, passing, high-flying passing attack here with Sonny Cumbie and Meacham coming in to completely transform this offense, which struggled tremendously last year. I mean, <laughs> with Boykin at quarterback, they struggled to even get a first down. Mm-hmm. It was it was awful. But you're bringing in Cumbie, you're bringing in Meacham, you're changing philosophies, and you have a new quarterback in Matt Jokel, who's experienced, a guy that can maybe run that offense, and you can utilize Trayvon Boykin in different ways. Some guys are going to need to step up at wide receiver. You know, they had Ladarius Brown get into some issues in the offseason. We don't really know what's going on with Brandon Carter, but if they can get guys to step up on the outside, if Jokel can can be the guy to command that offense, I think TCU is going to put up a lot. I think it's safe to say that TCU is going to put up a lot more points than they did last yeah, year. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, they can't go a whole lot farther. That, that offense was hard to watch at times last year. I think it comes down a lot to the offensive line because you're changing the you're changing kind of the scheme here, and so they're going from more of a you know a hand on the ground you know blow you off the ball type situation to a pass pass protection situation. It's going to be interesting to see how the offensive line reacts, and keep an eye on BJ Cattle on the running back. I want to see how they're able to utilize him. We're all talking about Matt Jokel, and we both expect big things from Matt Jokel uh, coming in to start for TCU. But I wonder, you know. How how much that running game is going to get going because that's a, that's something that that uh, TCU coach Gary Patterson really prides himself on is running the ball. How much is that? How much are they going to find that fit between what uh, Doug Meacham and Sonny Cumbie want to do and maybe the tradition that uh, Gary Patterson has done? But then again, I mean, if he wanted to go with the traditional guys, he would have hired somebody else besides Doug yeah, Meacham exactly. and Sonny Cumbie. Yeah, he wants to open it up. I think you'll see Catalan get some carries, and I think. He's a good fit for that offense because he's, he's not the biggest guy in the world. He's quick, he's shifty, he can catch some balls out of the backfield. But I really do think it's going to come down to those receivers stepping up for two of your best guys from last year. I think you also have a couple of guys coming in that can make impacts. Emmanuel Porter's a big physical target on the outside. And a guy that could really fit that offense that was one of the most explosive and exciting players to watch here in the BFW was uh, Desmond White at DeSoto. He could really make an impact in a few places. The bottom line is this offense is going to put more points on the scoreboard, and when you have a defense like TCU has, um, you know, all you have to do is get get it going a little bit, yeah. and TCU's defense is going to make some stops, and, you know, I think the Horned Frogs will be much improved with I think they're going, to, they're going to look a lot different, and a name I want to throw out there for everybody, I want to go on record, I think Ty Slanin is in for a big year mm-hmm. at the wide receiver. Yeah. He was outstanding in East Bernard. Well, that's going to just about do it for us. Log on to TexasFootball.com for all things state of football. He's EJ Holland. I'm Greg Tepper. We'll see you next time.